YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Good Company Strategy and Tactics, episode 16, I think? Good, right about there. So in our last episode, we got ourselves uh, our, our uh, courier bots up and running. Uh, but I also realized that we didn't uh, set up a, uh, a delivery pallet, so we haven't actually sold any of them yet. But production has been humming nicely, which is good. We also just rolled over the quarter, so we get to see what our new goals are. But first things first, let's make sure that we can get our courier bots sold. Um, yes, I think that's the correct answer here. This becomes logistics pallet for courier bots. These things are getting full. I have to keep an eye on them. I hate that I have to keep an eye on them, but I have to keep an eye on them. And then, yeah, we're getting tons of uh, Beats by Night Hawk built up here. We, as soon as the market advances on that, this will, this problem will uh, resolve itself. But I think, actually, what I'll do is I'm just going to keep them like that, and we're going to use some of the sales over here. Do I not have these? I don't have these as sold. Well, you know what, I might just hold on to them rather than sell them. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. Can't get distracted. So this is going to be the Zephyr Zephyr cell. And I always like having two of them. And actually, what might be better is if we put this one closer so it's easier for the courier. And then this is our backup uh, to handle the extra supply. And now let's get our courier set up. So add courier pallet. Add courier pallet. There. It's going to be all courier bots, ironically handled by a courier. <laughs> the bots can't move themselves, which is kind of odd. Like you'd think you just hit the on button and say, here, drive yourself to the sales pallet. Um, so yeah, they're all getting picked up there, dropped off there, one quick hire, and that should be golden. Um, there was one pallet in the back. Oh, right, this thing. You can get rid of you, turn you into a, another cell order. All right, so that should handle the courier bots. Oh yeah, now let's look at our company goals. Let's see what, um, I think this is gonna be our fourth quarter, um, yeah, fourth quarter company goals. Uh, just as a reminder, we got uh, let's see, we got the selling, so we get 5% higher market prices. Um, we get uh, discovery points for game devices produced. Oh yeah, and we got the uh, assembly speed boost as well. Yeah, that was, a last, that was a good quarter last quarter. All right, um, not interested in the, in the, What does this give us? Walking speed? I'm, I'm good with walking speed. And we do this any anyway. Um, hmm. Pocket computers, game devices. Yeah, it's the next tier of those. If they, if they were giving me a cassette player that gave bonus demand, I'd jump on that. But I don't want the one extra discovery point per 100. That's not very efficient. Um, analyze tier 4 or higher modules. I think we do that with the logic ones. I'll have to take a look. But yeah, research, gener research data uh, mark 2, we definitely do. Discovery points, discovery points. Yeah, they're all the discovery points flavor. I might go... 
I might go with the this one just because of the higher success points reward. It's a tier two. Yeah, actually, in that case, let's let's grab the tier two. I mean, this is a tier two as well, but I'd rather have the higher this, uh, the higher success points here. All right, not bad, not bad. Ooh, you guys are all out of batteries. Like, regular batteries. Um, why don't you borrow... Yeah, you guys need extra batteries. Because I know we have honey bunches of batteries. If, if ultimately necessary, I could set up a courier to run batteries from here to here. If the if the one this one keeps having an excess, and you, tons of motors here, more than we're using too. We may need to up our courier bot production, or heck, transform all of this over to courier bot production. Are these full? No, not yet. We just need more. Our, our uh, logistics employees are just falling asleep on the job here. Cause, yeah, these guys are full up. Tickets. A few more logistics, please. Oh, these are so full that like, they can't really fit that many more? All right. Because there's more, there's more that needs to be taken than can be taken. So even though there's one or two uh, empty spaces, I'm gonna yank these and replace them. Things I do for money. Oops. We are doing quite well on our assignment, as we knew we would. Ooh, and another milestone has been reached. I, uh, I wasn't uh, anticipating reaching that one quite that yet, but yeah, look at that, 186 products for over 20, uh, 300, the, those, that, that boost in our uh, sales there is doing quite well. Uh, so we're now at almost 2 million bucks. We have 600 success points. Man, I'm starting to run out, I don't, I don't wanna say I'm out of, out of stuff to do. Um, to uh, unlock here, but I haven't thought that far ahead yet. <laughs> this is catching up a little bit faster. I do want to get into automation, but not just yet. What I'll probably do, I'm going to sit on these for the moment. And, um, and then go from there. At some point, actually, probably in our next episode, we're going to consolidate our research thing. So yeah, I actually have two things that I want to purchase, but in our next episode. Wait, did we sell any of our um, courier bots last time? We did sell 17 of them. I mean, there's plenty of room in the market. So yeah, we could actually, in theory, transform once we finish up with the toy robots, uh, transform all of our bot production into courier bot production and really ramp up into it. All right, basic power supply. That's the other thing that I wanted to do, and I think we have the components to do it this time, is actually open a market ourselves. Like actually stop, stop diving onto the coattails of our competitors and actually go in and discover our own market. I mean, we have 1,372 things. So I was looking at the multi-cooker. Requires power supply, requires heating, and I believe it is a medium, um, medium device. So what we are likely to do here is, um, well, let's unlock it. Unlock it and um, uh, see what we can got here. So what can, first off, let's look at the market and also look, look at the phase two of the market. So the current market requires three points of heating, one point of power supply. Uh, we'll actually need four points of heating, one point of power supply. Fair enough. Look at how much money heating 
pays 40 G's per 0.1. So set, you know, heating might be a, a pain in the butt to satisfy, but boy, howdy, does it pay. Um, also, you say no active research. Let's fix that. We could go advanced heater. How much does this provide? 2.5 versus 1.5. Hey, why not? Maybe it'll be a future iteration. At least we'll have it. We'll have it in our back pocket. Right. So let's uh, let's design something here. So we're going to create new. We're going to create a multi cooker. And yeah, you have to use the medium cases and uh, a cooker made out of wood. Yeah, that that nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And we're going to call this the this Cameron Salisbury Steakinator. Yeah, that looks more steak shaped. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the colors. Let's go with the green. Okay, so simple heater. We're gonna need a few of these. Oh, they're just long pieces. That's fine. We're going to need to oversupply a little bit here on the heat to 4.5 in order to future proof ourselves. Oh, so the more heating elements that you have, the more it takes away from power supply, which means you have to oversupply power supply. Interesting. This is going to be All right, hang on. We need to we need to tetris this a little bit more. Yeah, now we're back into the positives. All right, we we can we can make this still works. We have not hit the drawbacks, but this is one beefy machine here. I'll tell you that much. Um, and three heating elements, four power supplies. We're probably going to need to set up a rather hefty production line just to make these things. But I think I'm up for the task and nobody else is in here. All right, so... We're going to be, between next episode and, and this one, we're going to do a lot of shuffling around. But let's let's... Let's earmark our, our different production facilities here. I do kind of want to buy this building here because it's near our, our new logistics zone so we can get raw materials uh, from there and delivered goods from there. Is somebody seriously um, taking a... single one from there yeah I think we're overproducing some of these down here too but anyway uh yeah we're gonna buy this building oh it's got another delivery area in it man when it rains it pours you want these things kind of interspersed you'd think right I also might buy this building for some of our sh other shuffling purposes. I mean, we've got the money. There we go. Okay. So I'm probably going to do is sh um, we're, we're going to turn Huja Data into a proper research center now that we're handling something a little bit beefier um, and go from there. All right, folks. So in our next episode. We'll have some things rearranged and we will start building our new uh, thing and we'll continue keeping an eye on our power feature 
um, to get this converted over. And like I said, this is all probably going to be tur turned into courier bots once we're done with the assignment. But until then, we don't want to let our opponents have too many of those uh, of those high-priced, high-markup sales. So, yeah, we're sticking with it. I mean, we've already got pretty much the guaranteed majority to this. But, again, I don't care. I want money. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya!